Hello guys, my name is Kanat. I am laboratory technician at Mechanical Engineering Department. Today we will show you how to use wind tunnel from Ironfield. The wind tunnel is designed to demonstrate and show uh, the properties of flow, air flow around different bodies. Uh, this equipment is simple, but uh, during the work with this equipment, uh, you should know some safety regulations. First, when operating the machine, ensure that long hair is tied back and uh, any clothing generally cannot connect with uh, this machine. Second, do not touch any moving components while the apparatus is in use. Ensure that the uh, equipment is switched off and that all moving parts <coughs> are stopped before changing the model in use. Okay guys, let's begin. Here there is a uh, water manometer. It consists of uh, 12 tubes. Each, 12, uh, each tube has uh, 16 divisions and each division is 10 millimeters. Here you can see uh, uh, its initial point. Uh, we have um, the same level of uh, water in each tube. This one is electronic manometer. This is IFD7 interface. Uh, the whole system is controlled with using this interface, and it connected to to the computer using USB cable. The wind tunnel is controlled with special software called wind tunnel. When we load the program, you will see the several types of experiments that can be done using this system. But today we will do exercise D. So press load. Here you see uh, the tappings from uh, the model and uh, each value for the tappings. And also here we see the value of ambient temperature, pressure in the uh, room and velocity in the tunnel. In the exercise D we'll use the model pressure cylinder and now I'll show you how to install it in the tunnel. And this this side is go to water manometer. To start this experiment, you should first switch on the iFeed interface, and uh, you have to ensure that these two uh, lights are illuminated. It means that the connection is there is a connection between the computer and the interface. Also, you have to check the status of IFD. Now it shows OK, but in case when it shows uh, error, it means that is something is incorrect. In this case, you have to check uh, the USB connection, otherwise uh, the driver installations. <coughs> now, uh, let's start. Before start, we should input the values of ambient temperature now it's 23 degree and uh, you have to switch on the fan by pressing this button and increase it speeds its speed gradually to 40 and wait for several minutes to stabilize the system. Our system is stabilized and we get these results. As you see, there are different levels of each tube. 
different levels of water in each tube. We just uh, calculate each level of water and put it into the software. So uh, we get all the values from manometer and uh, we should tab it in this software into this software. Uh, for some we is already put. Here we obtain it values like this. Uh, and I want to inform that uh, uh, when we type it these values into the software, we should uh, multiply it by two because it, uh, the manometer is uh, declined at 30 degrees. So here it will be Then um, we should uh, save these values in, uh, in the table. In order to do this, we have to press button go, which is green button. And we can see this value uh, in the table form. To do this, you should uh, press view, then table. Here you can see all the values from sensors connected to the wind tunnel so uh, to save the results uh, we have to uh, switch to table mode and press the but save button file save press so we save it And you will do uh, the same steps for 60 and 80 percent of fan speed. And after each uh, uh, value, uh, you have to save the results uh, in different tables. After completing the exercise, uh, you have to switch off the software call system. To do this, you should decrease the speed of fan. Gradually, slowly. Then press the button on on to zero. Then you have to switch off the IFD interface. So, some information about maintenance. Uh, if a wind tunnel is not used. It's not used for a long time. You have to drain the water from the system, from this manometer. In order to do this, uh, you have to unscrew this part, and the water uh, filled out. Uh, but when you are going to use again this equipment, uh, you have to fill this tank with water. In order to do this, uh, you have to take this uh, cap out, fill the water, and adjust uh, the level of water in each tube by screwing up screwing down this uh, displacer special displacer so that's all uh, about the maintenance thank you very much